posted him up and gave I posted it. him up. I, oh, had to give, I mean, you got to think. I'm 100 pounds heavier than him. I'm a foot and a half taller than him. You know, so I told him what was going to happen. I could have seen this, man. Only a foot and a half? Huh? Only yeah, a foot and a half? Yeah, about yeah. a foot and a half. He just, he walking the nigga to the goal. Yeah. Just walking walked him, him to down. the goal. I walked him down. <laughs> and, hit, and we were playing, think about it, we were playing for Desert Eagles, bro. Playing for guns. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. At any rate, man, I want to talk about uh, the Cat Williams incident because mm-hmm. that's a. That, I don't want to talk about it long. I'm not gonna do you <laughs> like that. But I do want to talk about. There's a couple yeah. of things in there I seen. Yeah. That was a fat guy that was there. Yeah, I'm thinking that was Phase On. It wasn't. I sure was it wanting wasn't. to make it. Clear. Wanted to be. I was gonna tell him. You know, I called yeah. him. I was like, say, nigga. Nah, it, it wasn't. was you. <laughs> it wasn't Phase On. But it was a fat. Yeah. Uh, he said a fat comedian. Yeah. Fat yeah. comedian. Like how? Who, there's a couple uh, other fat well, who comedians. Was he, he wasn't a known. Was Corey Holcomb fat? No, no it wasn't Corey. Fat. No. He kind of built. No, nah, I wasn't Corey. But okay, but if was we got the right name, Bruce, would you say? No, he ain't gonna. You tell wouldn't him. even know the name if oh, you got really? the right name. So he's I not would. Not a popular person. No. Okay. No. Well, he, he, he was popular on the like the local LA scene. He was trying okay. to get a job with, I guess, helping to write for Cat. You okay. know, uh, I, I believe so. Um, I believe that's what he was. Bro, there but for. let me just ask you, man, why is you out here playing basketball, taking this boy to the hoop? Boy, I, got, <laughs> you I wish they had phones back then. Man, you know? listen, <laughs> but we did. This did. This, this was, was only. I, when was man, this? this was two thousand, maybe fourteen. Y'all had phones, but yeah. you didn't record. Nah, Niggas were recording well, like you that. You got to think, man. Cat, Cat was a. And listen, this is the well, thing about phone, it. Cat, a fifteen-year-old choked him. This was before that. Them. This was before that. That was a hell of a fight, yeah, man. Yeah, that was before <laughs> that. <laughs> so you sent him into that shock. That, that whooping would send him on into that. He was gone already, though. I yeah. think he had. I, I think he was having a just breakdown during yeah, that time. Yeah, for sure. I, I it's mean, pressure, man. I mean, this is the thing about it. Me and Cat were really tight friends. You know, Cat was in my first movie that I produced. I had produced a movie called Young American Gangsters. Um, he was Cat Williams at the time. You know, so he could have charged me. He could have been on some Hollywood shit, but he didn't. He showed up. For me gave me the whole day for nothing you know what i mean wow so um i know cat cat is a good dude he has a great great fucking heart you know what i mean sometimes Faison said just, the same thing he's got a great fucking he tried he's to a buy great him some dude. shoes yeah and he was like man i told him i can't let you buy me no shoes when you're uh, when you work and you are good on core he's a good he'll give you the shirt off his back he'll give you the shirt off his back i mean we're we're, we're in um i think we're in l.a I said, I think I'm buying me some shoes. So I'm at, I'm at the counter and I want to go get some. Shoes. No, man, I, I got these. I, like, I can't let you buy me those shoes. <laughs> He's like, I got these. So face, I got these. So he takes his shoes and buys his shoes. I'm like, man, I can't wear them shoes. You bought me some shoes, nigga? But that's the kind he of dude he is. Yeah. So that's why I thought it was Faison when he told Man, me that story. Listen, bro, <laughs> I, I can remember when he was into it with Faison when I was with Cat. You know, and him and Faison was beefing, or he had uh, beef with Faison's brother. Was that when he put a gun on him? The yeah, empty the gun? unloaded gun. Was- like I don't hate the nigga. He, when he even when he pulled the gun on me, we was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know these niggas will shoot you for real? What are you doing? <laughs> so I, I remember that now what that you, you said. Doing? Then he got Suge involved. Suge's like, he don't know. I like, I know he don't know. <laughs> you think you, you think you gonna beat me up? Mm. She was like, so I don't hate the dude. I had no, you know what I'm saying. It's just that one that incident where he pulled a strap out on me. I was gonna. It was it was it got bad because I was like, don't That's you ever do serious. that? That's something serious. That's serious. Don't you ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Who would do that? Why would someone do that? That's <laughs> crazy. That's Cat Williams. Listen, I love Cat, this man. is one thing about Cat, man. That Cat, I don't care. He might still be mad at me, but that's my nigga. That's my brother. Cat, a little nigga, but Cat, Cat will go. He got heart. <laughs> Cat don't care. Win, lose, or draw. Like that shit with Will Smith and and, and Chris Rock. That with- shit would have went different. That nah. shit would have went different. <laughs> Grab that nigga. I ain't yeah, Cat, Cat would have got dead on his ass. No. I promise you. I promise you. He Cat would have got like a person that's just all mouth and nothing behind. No, 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 I don't think that. No, Cat gonna crash out. He gonna crash all when the I way. I see you fight that little boy. Look, if you fight yeah. a little boy, it don't matter who. No, he don't care about losing. <laughs> Cat gonna go. He don't care about losing. <laughs> he gonna try. He gonna try. Yeah. You say so. He went. He went ballistic after you hit he that did. last. What was it? Eleven. Y'all went one yeah. to eleven. Yeah, we were. And when playing. you hit eleven, look, Listen. look, you, you. 
You, what was it? Was it a layup or was it a jumper? Nah, nah. I, po- I posted him up. You know wow, what I'm saying? Wrong, I, I used the man. body look, on him. Because, you know, he got the speed. Cat, cat fast. You know, he so, one of them quick little niggas. So, so you, 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 you posted him up and gave him. I posted it. him up. I oh, had to give him. I mean, man. you got to think. I'm 100 pounds heavier than him. I'm a foot and a half taller than him. You know, so I told him what was going to happen. I could only a foot man. and a half. Huh? Only yeah, a foot and a half. Yeah, about yeah. a foot and a half. He just, he walking the nigga to the goal. Yeah. Just walking walked him, him to the goal. I I walked him down and hit, and we were playing. Think about it, we were playing for Desert Eagles, bro. Playing for guns. <laughs> <laughs> and so once I beat him, I told him, I said, "Man, you can keep your little raggedy gun." And he, yeah, he went ballistic <laughs> on me, bro. Oh man, I love it, man, because he had that. I, he done, and he done shook back a little bit. Yeah, he yeah. done shook back to where he yeah. ain't even focused on the crap no more. So right. he must have. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, you know that that lifestyle has to be tough on all yeah. y'all. Let me be yeah, real. for sure. Because everybody's always looking, and you try to hold your composure throughout every single incident man yeah i'm gonna tell you what it is i Especially think sometimes yeah yeah i think like what i learned from p and what i what and i think why we're kindred spirits is see you have some people that don't know how to turn off right yeah. see for us it's a job you know like i'm not big court every day all day just when i when it's time for that when i go home i'm courtney you know when i'm out doing what I, i'm that you know so where you have some people that they're that that celebrity or that you know brand or whatever all day every day they never turn off and that's where you lose yourself yeah you become that you know <laughs> what i'm saying so that's where i think some people struggle like i, I think cat i mean you know i i don't know for sure but i know people that were close to him for him it was more of a a, a mental chemical thing you yeah. know what i mean uh i never seen cat do drugs I, I was around him a lot. I yeah. never seen him do no drugs, no dope, nothing like that. That was just him naturally. Yeah, I think it was just whatever, you know, he gets in these manic states or whatever, you know what I mean? Because I think he did have bipolar or something like that. So that's why I was able to get past our little thing. You know, I charged it to his mind and not his heart because I know his heart. You know, I've seen him give jewelry to people. I've seen him give money to I people. I've seen it. him give cars to people. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Just because they needed it, you know. And, and he's never love. wanted the you know, the accolades for it or nothing like that. He's a good dude. He'll help you with your career if he can. You know what I'm saying? Now, he's not perfect. Now, I mean, he's not above doing some fuck shit, you know, mm-hmm. but for the most part, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.